Daga, can you come to the kitchen? Saga, please come to the kitchen. Hey, darling, could you do me a favor? Yes, Papa, what is it? You know I love your beautiful drawings, but I don't like it when you leave them all over the place. Can you please pick them up, put them in your room? And after that, I need you to start your homework. Why is it called homework? I'm always home. What do you mean? Why is it homework when I never go anywhere? I think it should be called just work. Ah, uh, good question. And you're right. I need you to clean up and then do your work. Alright? I don't want to clean up yet. But I don't want Papa to get angry. But I don't want to clean up now. I'm busy. I don't want to clean up. Yes, Papa. Thank you for not fighting me, Saga. I'm exhausted and it helps a lot when you do your chores without argument. As soon as you've finished, I'll help you with your home... <laughs> with your work. Okay. I've read all of them at least twice already. I want to read a new book. I'm the queen and this is my queendom. I've read all of them at least twice already. It's so pretty. It doesn't hurt me. My papa gets upset when I do this. That's an umbrella. Papa says it's for rain. Fancy ladies use this. Mama's really pretty. I don't remember her much. Hugsy! He's my friend. Sometimes at night, he talks to me in a funny voice. That's where the Fae live. I've decorated the house for them. Are you doing what I told you to do? Yes, I'm cleaning up. Good. Mama's really pretty. I don't remember her much. I need a key to open it. Hmm. I wonder where I put that key. Oh, that's where I left the key. I forgot I hid the drawing there. I can't reach it from here. What do you want for dinner tonight? Don't know. All right, then I'll just make something I want to eat. No, fish and chips. We're not having fish and chips, darling. I'll make a stew. Uh, not again. I heard that. I said okay. <laughs> 
That door is a special door. It goes into the wall. See wall. See wall. That's high up. I don't think I put that there. It must have flown up by itself. Hey, darling. What is it? It's a drawing I can't reach. All right. Lead the way. I'll give you a hand. Me and Papa get along most of the time, except when he's tired or upset. How in the balance did that get up there? I don't know. Can you help me get it down? Of course. Come here, I'll give you a lift. Go on, stretch as far as you can. A little further. Got it? Got it. You keep growing, you'll soon be able to reach that high on your own. Was Mama tall? Mama is tall. Taller than me. She could have... Let me see that drawing. This is nice work, Saga. You're better than I ever was at your age. Who is this? That's Crow. Who's Crow? A talking bird. When's Mama coming home? Saga. Well, you said is, not was. Mama is tall. So when's Mama coming home? I honestly don't know if she ever will, sweetheart. But she is out there somewhere? I think so. Okay, if she's out there, I'll find her and bring her home. I promise. Thanks for the lift. You... Welcome. If you could walk in my boots just one day, Saga. Remember, we're having a visitor over tomorrow. Who? I told you already, Uncle Gala. Oh, yeah. Well, he's not my real uncle. Can't we go visit someone instead? You already know the answer to that question, Saga. It's not fair. I know it's not, and I'm sorry. But I need you to behave and be polite to, um, to Gala. All right? All right. Don't go outside, Saga. Eat your dinner, brush your teeth. Blah, 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 blah. La 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 la, I'm a fancy lady. I'm a fancy lady. I don't like it down there. It's cold and dark and it smells funny. Papa's wireless. We can listen to all kinds of music from the ether. That's where the Fae live. I've decorated the house for them. All the 
other drawings. I'll tell Papa I'm finished. Done. Already? Good job, darling. I'll help you with your homework and my work. Your work, right? Your schoolwork. I, I just have to finish up here. Why don't you take the drawings to your room and put them in the right order? I'll be there soon. Okay. Spring girl travels from her big city to another city in another world, where she learns about magic. The girl who is spring fights an evil witch. The witch is the servant of something much, much older. She calls it the Yaga. It's the end of the story. The girl leaves the tower between worlds. She doesn't know where to go, but close with her, she'll be fine. The girl who wants to be an artist and is named after spring lives all by herself in a big city. The man with the wheels shows the girl how to get back to a big city. He hides his shadow inside him. In this one, the girl is looking for the four stone pieces. The girl who is spring fights an evil witch. The witch is the servant of something much, much older. A pretty girl is talking to a white dragon. This is the beginning of the story. The girl makes a new friend, a talking bird. The bird's name is Crow. I don't think that's right.
cold. And hungry. And bored. And my butt's hurting. And I'm also thirsty. But hey, I'm not complaining. This is fun. I like staring at buildings all night, every night, until my eyes start bleeding. Do you think Na'ane's been acting weird? I mean, she's always been a bit weird, but after she came back from Maria... Actually, since you arrived. Why is that? Have you noticed anything... weird? Anna, please pay attention. Oh, what's there to pay attention to? We've been watching that building for a week now. Nothing is going on in there. I almost wish Liko was here instead of me. But any chance he has to avoid going on a mission with you, he'll take. I can't believe he's still upset you didn't kill that officer. I mean, we've gotten good information from him. Liko's just being a real poophead. He's upset about losing Old Town. Yeah, but what could we do? I mean, you tortured the guy. We got the information, we chose to leave. So, what else is going on with you? Hey, what happened with that woman, Anna? Didn't you and her have a... I didn't. It wasn't... It was clearly a mistake telling you. You can trust me. I tell no secrets. Except to all my girlfriends, of course, when we get together over wine and... I'm kidding. I have no friends, you know that. Aside from you guys. You guys are my best friends and that's really sad. I'm depressed now. But she's pretty. Anna, I mean. Beautiful hair, striking freckles, nice scowl. She'd make a fine, uh, companion. I'm not interested. Oh. Okay, so, uh, is there anyone at all that you're... Enu, I'm not interested in women. You're not interested in... <gasps> sure! Oh, I knew that. <laughs> of course, that's, that's fine. Perfectly fine, so... So who do you... Look, something's happening. Oh, yes, someone's leaving the house. Call in reinforcements. People leave that house every day, Kian. They arrive in the morning and leave at night. Almost like it's a real business of some sort. Doesn't look like a real business to me. You're too suspicious. Must be all that hanging around is Adi. What are you guys up to? Bip! What in Shadow's name are you doing here? Uh, nothing. Oh, right. I have a message. It's from Ulvik. <clears throat> he says, come to the bar immediately. There's been developments. I don't know what developments is, but Ulvik's face was frowny, so it's probably important. It always is. Good job, Bip. Let's not keep Ulvik waiting. I'll go first. We won't attract as much attention if we arrive separately. You see that gentleman sitting over there? Don't look, you simpletons. Balance. You lot don't know much about subterfuge, do you? That man's an Azadi mechanic. He drinks here most nights, but I didn't know that part until I overheard him speaking to his friend earlier about the pipes. Seems that with the pipe network up and running, there's a lot of tinkering to be done. Our man over there carries a tool to open maintenance hatches. If we can get inside a hatch... We can maybe figure out what they're using the pipes for. That's brilliant, Ulvik. So we slit his throat and dump him in the bay? Not in my bar, you won't. If they find out we've taken his tools, the information could turn out to be useless. No. We need to... Borrow his tools, open one of those pipes to have a look-see, and put the tools back before he notices. 
And that was probably what you were going to say when I interrupted you. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. If you can do it without him noticing, I won't stop you. But if the Azadi ever suspect that I'm collaborating with the Resistance... That will not happen, Ulvik. So what do we do, Kyam? The others look to me for leadership now. It's important that I take charge and make the decisions. We split up. We all look for a solution and reconvene here later. That sounds better than what usually happens. You lot bickering and fighting over every little decision. We can't take too long. That man won't stay here forever. He's on his second drink. He usually doesn't leave until he's had at least three. And I can offer a few on the house to make him stay longer. It's decided then. We'll meet again here later this evening. Winner buys a round for everyone. No? No? It's not very motivating? Okay. There's food left on the table. <laughs> what exactly are you doing to that goat? Should I be jealous? Jealous? Of whom? I don't understand what you're saying to me. Where have you been this past month? Away. Far away. Travelling, so... Uh... This goat, what's going on here? It's rebel business. Clearly. How's that working out for you? Are you one of them now? I'm atoning for my sins. Right. But you are enjoying it. I don't enjoy fighting my own people. Well, you seem to be good at it. Word is the Resistance is gaining support, that people have hope now that you're there. I'm doing what I can to help. I heard you went the extra mile to uh, extract information from our vile little Azadi officer. I'm glad he suffered. Maybe it would have been better to kill him, but a source inside the tower? Could be useful. And you got the information you needed. Your people fled Old Town in time, even if it meant the Azadi met no resistance. At least that explosive spell tore off a few limbs and heads. What do you want? Nothing. Nothing. I saw you. It's been a while. I wanted to say hello. Ah, oh, I've missed this. The one-sided conversations. The sullenness and suspicion. I've come to enjoy it quite a bit. Anyway, goats? We have a lead on the pipes. Oh, that explains everything. I'll leave you to it then. I'm going to the rooster later tonight. I need to speak with Olvik. Maybe I'll see you there. Maybe. This is what I love about you, Kian. You're such a people person. This is Evensong. It works on goats. Well, then it should work on the Azadi too, eh? One more ale on the house, da? Ah, what a 
a lovely head. This one smells different. Malty, sweet. It's almost like the sugar ale from Southern as a day. Now, this is a brew, Vic. Tastes like home, this does. It brings tears to my eyes. It is simply spectacular. I won't say no to a tasty bit of yam. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh. Mm. Delicious. Oh. He's dead to the world. Knocked out by Evensong. Don't take too long out there. If he wakes up without his tools, there'll be questions, and I won't have any good answers. There's a powerful wind blowing from right to left, and it carries something with it. Too quick to see, too fast to grab. Honor Hilaris has posted these bills everywhere. He's serious about his run for office. Under his leadership, the city watch will fester and rot. There's official Azadi business going on here. You'll want to turn around and walk away. A pumpkin. An odd vegetable. Native to the Northlands. We have nothing like it in Azadir. Shrubbery of some sort. I haven't studied my Mercurian plants, but they appear quite ordinary. Thank you. 
Where did the orb come from? I should investigate where this pipe leads, hopefully to some answers. I need to find a way into that building tonight. Were you here when we had that horrible mess the other day? I don't think so. Well, one of them, uh, what they call them, ground crawlers. Rats? That's it, rats. One of them rats got into the pipes. Whoop! Got sucked right into the engine. Whoa. That doesn't sound good. Light. What a bloody mess. Literally. Guts, bones, hair, blood everywhere had to shut things down. And it was us who had to clean it. Engineers wouldn't touch it, said their hands are too valuable. I guess ours aren't. It's a soldier's lot, isn't it? We do the grunt work. That's how it goes. Well, I guess they think cleaning out rat guts is more important than us keeping watch and protecting them engineers in there. Eh, guess so. Azadi. Prepare your blade for battle! Goddess, it's late, boy. You should be in bed. So should you. What are you doing now? Chasing rats? The boy appears genuinely interested. I've been told this is rare in children. Perhaps I shouldn't discourage him. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Are you that hungry? Rats taste like sewage. Trust me, you're better off eating table scraps. Uh, I'm not eating the rat. I need it for... It's work-related. It is. Okay. Well, don't let me keep you from your rats. Are you just going to sit there? It's not every night I get a chance to watch you catch a rat. Fair point. There's food left on the table. It's a leftover cheese and meats plate. I've dined here. The food's good. I would never have left any bits uneaten. Cheese with evensong. Not much, but enough to knock out a small creature. Or possibly a child. Here's some particularly potent cheese. Filthy shadow spawn. Eat it. Eat it all. Ah, yams. A few weeks ago I'd never tasted yams. Is it breathing? I don't know. And I don't care. It's a rat and it's not moving. 
You got it! I really didn't think you would. I'm impressed. Well, that was fun. What's next? Next, you go home and stop distracting me. Or I'll tell the other street urchins you have fleas. I have no home. You know that. I sleep in the cellar of the rooster and kitten. Good. It's the safest place around. So go back to your cellar and keep your head down. If I see you again tonight... Please, got it. I'm sleepy anyways. That's why I'm going back. Not because you're telling me to. And don't throw pebbles at Azadi soldiers. These delicious things must hail from the western slopes of the first mountain. Who knew a thing that grows in the earth could taste so heavenly? anything. Whatever's in there just bounces off the pipe. The wind's too strong. The rat won't go in. Shadow, what was that noise? What's going on? Light, not this again. Here's some particularly potent cheese, filthy shadow spawn. Eat it. Eat it all. A comatose ground crawler. Just what I need. What was that sound? It was a squishy sound, sort of like... You've got to be kidding me. Not again. Shut a damn ground crawlers. I guess it's on us to clean up the mess. That bloody engineer in there is not going to do it. So yeah, it's on us. Light. Well, let's get to it. No time like the present. Alvik is a good man. I enjoy his company. 
He's true to his word. I trust him with my life and consider him a friend. These orbs rattle through the pipes like bullets through barrels. He's out like an Eradian soldier on Rose Eve. You can grab his toolbox now, but be subtle about it. The room has eyes. these are, but they put me in mind of a lady's vanity, except with knobs, lots and lots of knobs, more of those odd metal orbs. They're doing something to them here, altering them. These are probably work tables, although I've never seen work tables with gauges and meters and knobs before. I wonder what will happen when I push one of these knobs. Oh, I wonder what will happen when I push one of these knobs. Oh. That's ominous. There's mathematics on that board. Oh, oh! Um, you're not supposed to be here. This place is for engineers only. Please leave or I'll be forced to call the guards. I have a very loud voice when I'm scared. One sound and you'll be standing on the slopes of the first mountain, yelling at clouds. Um, no problem. I'll be quiet as a... Uh, you're from Azadir. I've seen your profile in embroideries. I never forget a nose. You're the Apostle. Apostle Elvani. You're famous. Maybe once. Now I'm just Kian. Your turn. My, my turn what? Your name. Who are you? For Daos. I'm Ferdows, lead engineer. I don't know what that means. What do you do? Don't you know? I, I thought you would have known, you know, from back when you were... I'm in charge of the team that encodes the spheres that make the engine tick. What engine? The engine that... <laughs> you, you know, the engine. There's only one engine. The one that encompasses the entire city. It's, it's what all the pipes are connected to. Didn't they tell you anything when you were, y you know, before you were a traitor? Assume that I know nothing. What is this engine for? The engine calculates. That's why they call it the calculating engine. <laughs> Big numbers, complex equations. I, we, uh, my team, we give the engine instructions about how and what to calculate. This is called coding. I understood none of that. You can't be here. You're a fugitive, and, and, um, this is a restricted zone. That's like two things that mean you shouldn't be here, and I could probably think of more if you need me to. I have a sword, and I'm bigger than you. Those are two things that count in your favor, granted. So what does this calculating engine do? What's its purpose? 
I'm, I'm really not supposed to. Right. Bigger and sword. As I said, it calculates. I mean, it does more than that, but that's what it was built to do. It's core functionality. It adds, subtracts, multiplies numbers. Big numbers. And it does things with those numbers. Like, um, like... Have you ever watched the stars in the sky at night? I'm not just a man with a sword. Of course. And you've seen how those stars move across the sky. Using a calculating engine, we can actually track those stars and predict where they're going to be in a year from now, or a century, or where they were a century ago. Why are you tracking stars? Well, we're not. I mean, it's, it's just an example. We're not actually tracking stars. I mean, sure, we could if we wanted to, but... We're tracking dreams. Dreams? Dreams are very complex, which is why we need a big engine with lots of ticking parts to make complex calculations and predictions. Right, so the part about not just being a man with a sword... Assume that's all I am and start over. Yes, fine. Um, those pipes crisscrossing the city? They're sort of like, um, like speaking tubes, connecting a hundred sage masters, each with his or her own field of specialty. So, it's like a university? Well, I guess. Yes. Yes, this is a good comparison. A whole city filled with clever brains. The spheres pass messages between the different masters, and between them and us. We write messages, and we interpret messages. We tell the individual brains what to think about, and then they do the thinking, and report back to us. Now, this allows us to write ever more complex messages, until finally, we have the code we need. The ultimate message. That one, we send to the tower. Why? Because, because that's where the biggest brain of them all is located. This is the hub of the Pike Network. The engine's core, its heart, the nucleus of the meta... Well, y you understand. The fact is, this is the most advanced and scientific task anyone's ever taken on. And we're doing it. You should be proud. Why are you doing it? Well, I... I... I don't quite know. Because we can? Because no one else can? Because the Prophet told us to, and gave us the tools to do it. So, you don't know what it's for? I write the instructions. I'm the, um, I'm the man in the middle. Someone tells me what they need, and I tell the engine how to compute the answer. This is my job. Who knows what the engine is for? The Six, probably. The Prophet, certainly. Emissary Saya, I would imagine. <laughs> This is above my pay grade. Above your... I was hired to write instructions for the engine and compute the spheres. Not to ask questions. And... and not to answer yours either, Mir. You really should go before someone comes. We'll both be in terrible trouble. They usually check on me all the time. I wonder why they haven't. I still don't understand. Why build all of this here in Mercuria? Why not in Sadia? Because of the tower and what's below it. Vast eddies of, um, meta-energies. Meta... Do you mean magic? 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 Of course not magic. This engine is, is, is the opposite of magic. It's the culmination of everything Azadir has strived for these last hundred years. An end to chaos and uncertainty. An end to superstition and irrationality. An end to magic. When the engine's fully operative and the programming complete, we won't need sorcerers or witchcraft anymore. We'll be able to do anything we want with science. Reshape reality, rewrite the laws of the cosmos, remove death and disease, poverty and warfare. The world will be run by scientists for the betterment of humanity. What do dreams have to do with it? The engine feeds on the, on, on the building blocks of reality. Um, Ideas, stories, dreams. 
magic is highly detrimental to the system. See, sorcery causes chaos, injects uncertainties and, and, and fallacies into our calculations. So, is that why magicals are- Are being relocated? We can't have them around while the engine's calculating, but as soon as we're done- we You can... believe they're being relocated? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, of course. I mean, it's what they told us. Why would they lie? It's simple. The engine isn't compatible with magic, and we don't want anyone getting hurt. There's no room for sorcery in Mercuria. The Magicals are better off in their new homelands. They're being sent to prison camps. Re-education camps. This is true, yes, but only temporarily. This is their first stop. Afterwards, they're given passage to their new homelands, where they can- Do you really believe that? What would the Magicals be re-educated to do? Forget that they're Magicals? No, Fadaus. That's not the truth. They're imprisoned. Killed. They're not given a new home. But they told us. They said they were... They, they promised they'd be safe and happy and... Oh, the light protect them. So this is why we're sending all the Magicals away from Mercuria. Because of the engine. I... Yes. Yes. That's why. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. There are children. There are. They lied to us. Do you need to remove all Magicals before starting up this calculating engine? It's already running. I'm... I'm not... As long as the thermaturgical interference is below the acceptable threshold for... Pretend that I'm a very small and possibly very stupid child. Oh. Uh, no. No, they don't, they don't need to get rid of all of the Magicals. Just enough not to disrupt our calculations. We'll be done instructing the network in a couple of days. After that, they can pull a lever whenever they want. That's the last component of the engine. The tower. The one that will start feeding on and molding the dreams. Changing the world for the... For the better. Yeah. I, am. Um, I believe the official ceremony is a few days from now. The emissary will be there, together with the first, and the prophet, and... And... And please don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. But what you're doing here is not the will of the goddess, Fadaus. Something is going on. Someone's... Mia. I had a feeling it was you. Mia? Goddess, what are you doing here, Hami? Where are your men? Right outside. They can be here in seconds. You, engineer. What's your name? I threatened him. He played no part in this. Ferdows. I'm Ferdows. You lied. I beg your pardon? You promised they'd be safe. I have no idea what you're talking about. Go, Ferdows. This is not about you. Just remember what I told you. You're not doing the work of the goddess here. I should have realized the taking of Old Town was too easy. It was a distraction, designed to take my mind off the investigation. Commander Vamon and the Emissary have been lying to me about your death. Why is that? Because I'm a danger to them. And it's not the only thing they've lied to you about. This engine... You betrayed us. You joined the enemy. To stop Sire and Vamon, not to fight our people. Not to fight you. Sister Sire is the Emissary. Commander Vamon is your superior officer. They are your people. They are traitors, Mir. They have betrayed our nation, our faith, and... You should have come to me first, Apostle. You should have come to me. Instead, you've shamed me. You've shamed Mother Utana, the Six, the Goddess, your nation. When I received word someone had been spotted entering this house, I had a feeling it was you. I entered alone for two reasons. One, as a courtesy to the mother. It would break her heart again to hear that you perished in dishonor, fighting my guard. And two, your living proof that Vamon has lied to me. I cannot reveal my hand to Vamon, but I also cannot let you go.
You'll surrender to me now, without struggle, and you'll be brought to Sadir tonight, in secret. The courts will decide your fate. For the time being, while I sort out this mess, you'll be locked away under a false name. No one will know you're alive. When I'm ready to confront the Commander and the Emissary with their lies, I will reveal the truth about your survival, and you will cooperate every step of the way. Ask Sire and Vaman about the camps, and what they're doing to... You lied. You lied to us. You told us they would not be harmed. You told us they'd be safe. There were children! Get off me, you idiot! Go! Go, Keon! Make them pay for this! Stop that! Get off me! I'll have you beheaded for this! Shadow, damn you, man! Leave this place! Now! Yes? Mother. It's the General. He asks to speak with you. Send him in, child. Hami. Is anything the matter? It's Kian. He's alive. Oh! Goddess. Goddess, be praised. How do you know this? He broke into the engine room down on City Green. Light! What was he doing there? Speaking with one of the engineers, Fadaos, a young man from the southern provinces. Kian said... Oh, well, it's of no consequence. He's a traitor. He's joined the resistance. But... It is as I suspected. We have been lied to by Vamon and the Emissary. For what reason? That I don't know. Yet. And until we do, we cannot confront the Mother. I agree. We don't know how firm their grip is on the tower. If they know that we know... What about Kian? Was he... Uh, how did he look to you? He looked strong. Different, but strong. He must have his reasons for doing what he's doing, Hami. Kian would never betray Azadir or his faith. Perhaps, but that's what he's doing. I gave him the honorable choice to turn himself in and face righteous judgment. But he fled like a coward when the engineer attacked me. Attacked? I don't blame the man. Kian poisoned his mind with baseless lies. My men detained him, and I placed him somewhere safe, somewhere he can't tell anyone what he saw and heard. Out of Vamon's reach. We need to keep this between us, or we run the risk of alerting the commander and emissary Saya. Much as I'd like to hunt down Kian myself and put him to the sword, we must be patient. Let's trust the goddess, Hami, to illuminate our path and bring us to the truth. I certainly hope she will. Kian, thank the bounce, you're back. Bip's been... They've taken him. Taken... yeah. Light. Are you sure it's Bip? I knew this would happen. We have no time to spare. We must get to him before... The cloud ship just unmoored and is already heading for Guillen. It's too late. Then we must follow. And abandon your mission here? For one child's life? Is it because he's a magical that he's not worth the trouble? You're such an angry, angry man. Do you really want Kian to leave Mercuria and risk his life to save one boy? I thought so. This is what happens when we let Azadi criminals live. Stop it! That's not what happened and you know it. They're sending all the magicals away. I know why, and I know what the pipes are for. What? Really? Are you serious? I'll explain later. Right now, we need to rescue the boy. Well, you're not going after him. That's not your decision to make, Anna. Can we really afford to lose more people? We've lost so many already. And Ane has her hands full with those who've been injured. Soon, 
There won't be enough of us left to fight. I need to think about this. I can't just abandon the boy, but... We can't stay here. The Azadi are hunting me. The General knows I'm alive. Honey? How did that happen? Did you approach him? Are you trying to curry favors with your former masters? Curry favors? How would I even... I'm not trying to curry any favors with... Stop it, both of you! You're really annoying and loud. Let's get out of here before all of it gets in trouble for harboring a fugitive. Shepard will want to have a say in the discussion. This isn't over, Kian. Oh, hush. <laughs>